Hello everybody. Welcome to the Greenwood Hub Art Studio. Today's project is a mixed media paintbrush made with Zuri Design molds. Let's get started. Here a paintbrush that I'm going to decorate with our new mixed media project. I'm using amazing resin. It's a fast and quick casting resin. It has two parts to it, A and B. Next, this is where I'll be mixing the two A and B parts using a measuring cup. So there is no room for mistakes when you use a measuring cup. I'm going to use a stirring stick because this will help me stir up the resin and mixing everything perfectly and neatly. The mold that I'm using here is called Little Bit of Everything and it's by Zuri Designs. This is a beautiful mold. I'm going to be using a few elements from this mold. Steampunk wheels, and I'm going to use the lady that you see there. And there's also some florals on this mold that give it a really beautiful detail on the work that I'll be creating today. Stay tuned. Right now, let's start with our side A, our amazing casting resin. It's very easy to work with, but you do need to be fast when you're working with this resin because it dries up very quickly. Using my measuring cup, I'm going to add side A, like I said before, and now side B. You sh I should, be, uh, should let you know that you should wear gloves when you're doing this, but I do have a little bit of experience, so I feel comfortable the way I'm, I'm pouring my resin. But do wear gloves if you're not, um, if you're not very comfortable. Now mixing my resin, I make sure that I mix it until it's clear that white top is gone and it's clear. But you do have to be a little bit quicker than normal because this resin dries in about 10 to 15 minutes. Now I have a nice clear solution. And now we're pouring. Try not to overfill when you pour the resin. This resin has its um, viscosity. It's very liquid, but at the same time, it does fill up one of these mold sections quite quickly. But don't fill up so it's overflowing, just enough to cover the edges of the mold. Now we are ready to demold our pieces. They're very easy to take out of the mold. This resin is not called amazing for any reason. <laughs> it is quite amazing. And now it's my steampunk wheels that I'm demolding. Moving on to the next one.
It's nice to let this resin dry for 10 to 15 minutes. If you feel that the edges come out easily, then it's time to demold. Don't leave this resin longer than that time of 10 to 15 minutes because it will damage your mold. I know some people have a tendency to leave 24 hours, etc., but not with this resin. Only 10 to 15 minutes, really. Have all my pieces ready I'm gonna use heavy black gesso you can use any heavy black gesso you have at home um, I use um, this this heavy black gesso because I'm comfortable uh, doing my my projects with it um, as you can see it's at the very end um, I need to go buy some more but there's lots of brands that provide heavy black gesso apply the heavy black gesso to every single piece I have in front of me. This uh, needs to be given a nice good coverage. Um, you can um, paint it once, paint it twice, three times, as many times as it's needed. For this video purpose I'm just doing it once and I'm being as detailed as I can. You'll see the outcome result at the end. My pieces are all finished. I'm going to use a hot air gun. Try not to hold up too close to the pieces. The hot air gun does burn the closer you get to, to things and uh, really it can harm you. So try and lift it up but in a circular motion. Keep drying those pieces just like I'm doing here. Next, I'm using old silver wax. And this is what I'm gonna cover all of my pieces with. This is gonna bring out all the tiny little details that this little bit of everything mold has. Wax is a wonderful thing to use because it really, really does magic. You will see, as I'm doing each piece, this is where I'm going to do my composition. And yes, I'm using old silver color because I thought it would be a really nice contrast from the red paintbrush that I have underneath.
of this wax goes a long way so you don't have to do too much pumps out of your tube uh, these waxes even though they're small tubes they do last quite a bit as you can see from one time that I pumped for my tube I'm doing almost all of these pieces and that's really nice to, to see Ready to put my pieces together and start uh, dismantling the composition I created. I like to do it like this because then I know what layers I'm covering up. So I don't start from the bottom up. Of course you do start from the bottom up, but I start dismantling from the top down. You'll understand my process as you watch this video. I'm also using a big sty. I thought to use the oval frame. It's uh, an old retired die from Tim Holtz, and uh, I really thought it would add a nice touch to it. And let's see how it looks. I'm also going to use the old silver wax on this, even though it's chipboard. The old silver wax will adhere quite nicely on the on this oval frame. And it seems like yeah, it looks good. Yes, I like the contrast. We're going to go with this. Here's our paintbrush ready for action. I'm going to add a little bit of um, white acrylic paint. You can add any type of white acrylic paint. Um, I usually go to my dollar store and buy acrylic paints. I like these because I use them for other crafts as well, such as gel plate printing, etc. But um, as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit. I want to turn the black part of my brush uh, into a white, um, an off white, and just enough to blend. It's not like we're gonna see this, but um, I'm gonna apply it to the front and the back of this brush. also thicken the brush a little bit and it will it's sort of like a control for the for the brush pieces not to go all over the place that's why I'm using the acrylic paint as well but you can also use gel medium I decided to use acrylic paint today and now I'm using my hot air gun again to dry off the acrylic paint again rotating in circular motions and not too close so it doesn't burn. I'm going to be using a glue gun. It's a portable glue gun that I got a while back. Um, you can also use gel medium to glue down your pieces, but I wanted this process on you know, my mixed media paintbrush to go a little bit faster. Notice how I'm pouring the glue. It's not too much, but it's uneven pieces, uneven spaces on my molds. Um, I do have a little bit of concerns when it comes to glue guns. Uh, they do burn your fingers, so you got to be careful when you're 
pouring out that glue onto your pieces and steer away from your fingers because it does um, burn your fingers. <laughs> um, I'm not trying to sound too negative, but uh, you can never be too careful when you're using the hot glue gun. But notice how I make up my composition. I'm starting from the bottom up, but I'm also layering each piece with each other. Play around with it until you're satisfied with your composition. Playing with the composition is the funnest part of the job. Don't be afraid to layer. I know some people are afraid to layer because they're gonna hide other pieces of the mold, but don't worry about it. Play with it. Even if it hides a little bit of it, it still adds its purpose for this art. This is mixed media after all. Keep people guessing. I love Zuri molds. They have so much detail in each piece. Every single mold I have from Zuri Inc., from Zuri Designs Inc., is just a piece of beautifulness in my desk. I look at the projects that I want to create and I have a mold for each specific project that I want to create. They're just so beautiful and I don't know, the designers behind um, creating these molds are geniuses to me. It's also um, wonderful that I have the opportunity to design for this team. Um, being a designing team member is an honor for me and I couldn't be happier. Cheers to 2024 and creating this first video to you guys. Um, it's really a pleasure. project is almost finished. A few more touches. Um, I'm thinking of putting, um, after I lay down this beautiful lady bust on my paintbrush, I'm thinking of putting a floral uh, on the handle of the paintbrush. I think that's going to add a unique touch. But before we finish, I'm still going to use another wax. Um, this time, it's probably going to be, again, contrasting the red paintbrush and the gold in it. Uh, I'm thinking I'm using a peacock, peacock uh, metallic wax to give a little lustrous effect. We'll see as this video goes along.
the last touch this uh, beautiful floral that came out of the little bit of everything mold it's incredible how this mold can create such beautiful compositions with every single mold element that has in it it's a large mold but believe me it stretches the imagination and the possibilities using the little bit of everything mold is incredible there we go the peacock wax that i'm going to use i again just a dab uh, a dab of it here and there not everywhere but uh, i just wanted a little bit of um greenish bluish type of um look to my um mixed media project of today um I love using different waxes when I work in my mixed media projects. Um, sometimes um, I use other products uh, besides wax. I do use acrylic paints. You can paint with acrylic paints over these molds and the, the little details of the mold does not go away even if you use acrylic paints. But today I didn't do that. I, I just, I stuck to waxes and this was it. I hope you are enjoying this project and um, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, on Facebook, and check out my website, thegreenwoodhub.com. I upload videos of various arts and crafts and uh, mixed media will be my next project. Um, I'll be uploading um, on my website as well. Um, different ideas, different projects. So keep an eye on that. And um, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this project and uh, stay tuned till the very end and uh, we'll see you again on another video.